Well, a violent crime is committed every 26.3 seconds, according to the FBI. It is the reason vigils are planned tomorrow in cities all across America, remembering the victims and also supporting survivors and their families. News for Jax reporter Ashley Harding is live. And Ashley, one of those vigils is happening in Riverside Memorial Park. It certainly is, Amanda and Melanie. Good morning to you both. Yes, and that healing vigil will also mark the end of National Crime, Vic Crime Victims' Rights Week. And I spoke to two mothers whose sons were both murdered, and they say this is a chance for these grieving families to come together and heal together. The memorial wall at families of slain children is almost as wide as the building itself. Each section covered with hundreds of names, names representing stolen lives. It's heartbreaking. Lord, another mother. Her journey hadn't even begun yet. Beverly McLean, the group's founder, knows this pain all too well. Her son, Andre Johnson, was killed in 2005. It never goes away. You wake up with it, you go to bed with it. But at least we know where we could go, who we can call. One person McLean calls is Patricia Ward. She lost her son, Curtis Williamson, when he was 16. Together, both women will meet with other grieving families at Memorial Park. At the end of the day, you know, we all fight in this same race, and that's the healing, the healing um, to start the closure process. Ward started her own nonprofit and lobbied for legislation she's named Curtis's Law. The law would require investigators hand over information now considered confidential to victims' families in death investigations. Ward says lawmakers in Tallahassee took a major step this week. 132 yeses, no nos. So it's that much closer to becoming law? In yes, so after this, the Senate floor and then to the governor's desk. Whether lobbying for victims' rights or working with families, these women aim to make a difference. Their message to anyone thinking about coming to the park Saturday. Come on out, you know, and be a part. Call your loved one's name. We're here for you. Talking about God, he has not forgotten you. And both homicides are still unsolved today. And to learn more about each, each woman's nonprofit, we'll post that information on our website, newsforjax.com. The vigil tomorrow starts at noon and will go until 3 o'clock. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.